What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. My side up. Your side up. Yeah. So then this way. There you go. All right. You know how I do, y'all. How are you guys doing, Kevin? How's everybody Sano? doing? Can y'all hear us? Oh. Okay, couch potatoes. We're about to get started here. Let's get into it. But before we do, let's do an audio check. Let me know. Can you guys hear us? Drop it in the chat for me, you guys. Let me know. Happy Friday. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> you hear us. Cool. Cool. We got new phones. Progress never goes easy. Yeah. The new iPhone has a different connector than the old iPhone, and we didn't realize till 558. That we were like, yo, we don't have a... um The connector. The connector. That was our fault. My bad. Hey, Nikki. I'm just fixing the, the camera. And I'm going to pull Patrick's camera or my, this bag, ow. It's right in the camera. Ooh, that was my bad. <laughs> Would you sit down okay, somewhere? Okay, 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 okay. And you can take the microphone off because it's not connected. Um, or do you just like the look? I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with nothing. Cherie, welcome in. Sharon, what's up? Hey, girl, it's Pearl Medea. Okay, so am I. Uh, so thank you guys for bearing with us. Like we said before we get started, we don't have our usual microphones connected, but we got new I iPhone 15 Pro. So for the amount of money that they're charging us to have these new phones, this microphone better be working good. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Okay. And neither one of us wanted to do our hair, so we got rap songs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Laziness is happening here. So, welcome to the... Be first live. <laughs> you ready? Yep, let's go. Welcome to the Married at First Sight Season 17 After Party Review. This is Couples Couch with... Pat. And I'm Cam... Let's get into last week's episode, the episode that aired during our spring break, right? Yep. Um, this is the episode where Cameron and Becca were on. But before we get into all of those details, let's do a little bit of housekeeping, lightweight housekeeping. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. You know what I'm about to say. We do not get into the nitty gritty details of everything that happened in the episode unless we see fit. We are gonna see fit this week. <laughs> If Cameron got into the nitty gritty, so will we. Right. And the best part of our live is Shannon. She is here, alive and active, in our chat, holding it down for Couples Couch. As usual, we couldn't do this without her. Right, Patrick? Nope, absolutely not. Thank, Thank you, Shannon. Shannon. We, we love, love you. you. Oh. Pinch, pinch, poke, poke. <laughs> now you owe me a Coke. Uh. Although I'm not drinking no more Cokes. Anybody want to do no soda April with me? Um, to answer your questions, <laughs> Queen N asked, when did you review the last two shows? We did not review the last week's episode, um, and we did not review this week's episode. We're only reviewing last week's after party, because I was told by you couch potatoes that I didn't need to watch the show. I just needed to watch the after party where Becca and, and uh, Cameron were on, right? Because that's the one that was... Spilling all the tea. Yeah. Okay? So just to catch you up. That's all we're talking about. We don't and care about Michael and Chloe. the show is not the show no more. It's just no. Michael and... It's just Michael and Chloe. Chloe. So we're not getting into all that until at least their decision day. Also for housekeeping. Drinking game alert. Let me get my drink. 21 and over. Oh, Queenie says she's feeling Michael Swagger. 
Every time you hear the word tea, take a drink. Drink responsibly for the non-drinkers. Take a drink of your favorite juice, soda, or tea. And the drinking game is for everybody. So everyone have fun. Let's have some fun. Remember, the, the word for the drinking game is tea. So every time you hear tea, take a sip. I'm going to drink when I'm thirsty. Okay. <laughs> you can do that too. <laughs> that works as well. But drink when you hear tea. Okay. Let's get into the after party review. Ready? In this episode, Cameron spills tea <laughs> all over the room. So let's get into the high level overview of what was shared. This after party was a one hour long special, not the regular 30 minutes that we're used to. The first half of the after party featured Austin and Chloe and Rudy's husband. The second half of the show featured Cameron, Becca, and then Rudy's husband too. So we're only going to dive into the tea that was shared in the second half of the after party with Cameron and Becca. So let's go. First drop of tea, Becca shares that Austin had been lying uh, to her from the very beginning of their marriage. For example, she says he vaped all the time and he was hiding it from her. And then he was even vaping in the bathroom and then she would catch him doing it and he would lie too. Pause. What is the big deal about the vaping? A, why did he feel the need if he was hiding it? Because she's sick. Because <laughs> she always sick. Like he didn't want to do nothing to upset her immune system. <laughs> Throw her back off a of whack. But he did not want nothing to do with that. Listen, I just think it was childish to be hiding that you're vaping. You know what I mean? It's not like you're doing cocaine in the bathroom. You're doing Too bad she couldn't hide all the <laughs> pimples and zits on her face. You know what? <laughs> she goes on to say, since day two of their marriage, there was always something that Austin would lie about. Then Rudy's husband chimes in. And he says he would like to offer a perspective that maybe Becca didn't feel heard by Austin and then Austin possibly didn't feel safe to share who his true self, you know, was with her. Becca disagrees as he's talking and she's like, Maybe no. Becca was just bitching about everything. Like, oh, you vape, blah, 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 blah. He's like, shit, I don't want to hear this, so I'm just going to try to hide it from her. As you see smoke coming, seeping from hey, underneath the back. Are you door. vaping? Mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so, hey, Becca, I, you, because you're a person I can lie to. She said that he lied to her all the time. And then she even disagrees with um, Rudy's husband and says she had no issue with him vaping. And she even made a safe space for Austin. She's a lie. So. I have a question for you, Couch Potatoes. Do you think Becca made a safe space for Austin? No. So he didn't have to tell a lie? I think Be Becca is a... Uh, Drop your comments uh, in the chat. I think she can nag. Yeah. She's always like in whiny mode. Do y'all like... Does anybody else get that? Like, uh, I, can, uh, I can... I can... His that. religion... Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> We don't see that they uh, uh, If we die, then he goes to heaven and I go to hell. <laughs> wah, wah. Shut up. You know what? Um, there are other things for you to worry about. Noxema, OxyClean, skincare, lotions, no. all them type of things that you need to worry about that are here right now. Not Noxema. Listen. And he lied because he didn't care. Because he didn't like you and he didn't want your judgment or to explain himself to you. And since he knew he wasn't going to be with you, yeah. when you ask something that he might have to explain away or talk about, okay. he just lied hoping that you would buy it and it would be over with. Okay. And if you did catch him in the lie, you're going to do the same amount of talking as you would have done if he would have told you the truth. Okay. So he's just trying to cut his losses by lying to you because he doesn't care about you. Patricia in the chat says, no, if you're negative about everything, he'll start lying to avoid the conflict. Yes. 
Um, Shannon says she is comfortable with being the victim. She's not comfortable. She seeks it. Juan Aisha, hey girl, hey, says, no, I don't think she made a safe space for him. And Queen N says, she's the kind of lady that make men catch charges. Yep. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. That's why you just leave him. That's why he didn't. I'm sorry, Austin. I was making fun of you for not sleeping with the girl, but I get it. Mm, mm, mm. Like, why even open that can of worms? Now she gonna be texting and call. I'm gonna ruin your life. I'm gonna cut your tires. Like, <laughs> nah, you can't. You can't just. Yeah. You can't give the D to everybody. Facts. Let's get into the next. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's get into the next drop of tea. Tea. Take a sip. No, nah, but for real, y'all, she she she's a whiner. She's, she's, she's annoying. Wild, she's she is annoying. Individual. So next drop of tea. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> they replay the scene where the couples meet up after decision day. And they hash out the comment made about Cameron and Brennan going on a double date. Now this is where it all unfolds. Cameron clarifies that moment and shares tea that moments before they met up with the group, Claire asked to meet with him. Cameron says it was by no mistake that the conversation that we see in those scenes happened. He said Claire asked him during that little meetup before it happened to be on the girl's side when she brings this up. She, he said she specifically asked him to back her up on the Brennan double date thing. And then Cameron says, in that scene, in the moments we watch him saying it was not that way, he says that was the literal moment that the friendship or the working relationship or whatever you want to call it broke up between him and Claire because he was willing to lie for them as a couple, but he was not willing to lie on someone else's marriage to break them up. Because why? Sounds like he has integrity. <laughs> right? Oh, thank you, Mrs. Smith. Thank you, Miss Smith. Mrs. Smith. <laughs> um, question for the chat. Couch Potatoes. Do you think Claire was the mastermind behind creating the drama within the group or between the group? Yes. Rachel mm -hmm. says, how Claire being so messy but in school to be a therapist? That's wild, ain't it? What are you thinking? I could have went to school to be a therapist. Don't mean I'm going to become one. And if I do become one, it doesn't mean I'm going to be a good one. Right. There are idiots in every field, and she is the idiot in that field. Okay. And That's then here's that. Uh, Mrs. Smith said absolutely. Betty says yes. Kayla says yes. But for real, Claire is the right-hand man to the real henchman. She, okay, and we're going to get there. Yeah, we're we'll get, get there, there. But Claire looks to be the ringleader. But she's actually just the right-hand man. Okay, and we're going to get into that. Second in charge. That. Let's get into that. Heaven's Queen says Claire needs a hobby. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Heaven's Queen. Uh -huh. I thought you said Kevin's Queen. I was like, yo, that is a dope name to have. And then I was going to question why you don't have on yours Patrick's Queen. You're tripping. Tripping hard. Okay, right. Kayla says that Claire is the master manipulator. Let's get into some more yep. tea. Uh, Cameron shares T that since day one of their marriage, they were in an agreement, him and Claire, to lie about the reason why their marriage didn't work or wouldn't work. And then Becca interrupts Cameron and says, you know what happened. You know the conversations and you have to sleep with that and you have to live with that. And Cameron was like, yeah, I do because I know exactly what happened, right? And she says, because I can share text messages right now between you and Claire, where you told her, Cameron, to act cold on camera, to do this, to do that. Cameron goes, oh, yeah, nice. Anyways, and dismisses her completely. This is all happening on the Yo, after party. Becca was fuming. He says, well, let's talk text messages. This is Cameron. Well, let's talk text messages then, right? And fortunately for Becca... I have all the text messages that are not out, out of context. context. He was ready, y'all. He'd been waiting. He'd been waiting, y'all. <laughs> He'd been waiting. <laughs> K 
Cameron says he has text messages with Claire saying, where Claire says, Cameron, you're smarter than me. You take the lead and you tell the producers the plan about our marriage. So she made him the fall guy to do the work. You know what I mean? Is what it appears to be. Question. Do you think the text messages showed Claire was in fact manipulating Cameron? From what he says, from what he explains. I don't think he said that he was being manipulated. I think he was in agreement like this ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the whole let's come up with a reason. Like, especially if y'all are saying this was from day one. If I'm on a show to marry somebody and they come on there and they're like, oh, I don't want to get married to you. Let's devise a plan for us. to. I'm airing you out the entire eight weeks. Said dear. Like, <laughs> no, you going to tell these people you don't want to be here so I can pull a mic and get me another chick. Right. Or I'm not lying. Like, why would, what do we have to be in cohorts for? Right. Like, why are we like, doing... Why do I owe you anything? Why would I team up with you after you told me you don't want to be with me? Right. Right. I, I don't get it. That's... The, I knew this whole show was bullshit, but thank it's, you, Cameron. It's, it's making it even more... Yeah, thank you, pain. Cameron. Um, More tea. Take a sip. Another text message that Cameron reveals says Claire admits that the double dating thing with Brennan is all a lie and that she was going to take Brennan down no matter what. Cameron shares that he begged her not to do it because in result, Emily would be the one to get hurt in all of this because Brennan would just bring up that Emily cheated and Keisha, aka Rudy, was like, hold on, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Emily cheated? Yes. And he was like, oh, yeah. And she said, during the marriage to Brennan? And he was like, yeah. So she, Rudy turns to Becca and was like, Becca, what is all of this about? Like, what do you know about this? And then Emily kind of like does the eye roll. And then he's like, she's like, uh. Becca. And then Cameron's like, exactly. Becca does the eye roll. You said Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Becca. Emma, uh, Becca does the eye roll about the situation. And then Cameron goes and is like, exactly. You were there. Rudy was like, you had your time to talk, Cameron. He's like, you're right, you're right. Becca, tell us. Mind yeah. you, Cameron just said Becca pink, was there. Pink hair, go ahead and tell us the story. Becca shares that Brennan had stonewalled Emily at that point. And, she, and time out, time out, time out. This is when the BS start. Okay. I ain't never seen somebody flip, pivot, and make excuses for doing something that's wrong. Right. Don't go ahead so of us. So fast in my life. Don't get ahead of us. Go okay. ahead. Cam, uh, Becca shares that Brennan had stonewalled Emily at that point in time, and she found messages. On his iPad of girls messaging him on Instagram. So she got angry and she went to a bar. And I guess Becca must have been there too. And Thought. Emily made out with a guy Thought. at the bar. Thought. Pause. Thought. Becca shares all of this on the after party when Keisha asked her. Now this is where I got to take a pause and say. And we're going to use Shannon because Shannon's in the chat. Shannon's my homegirl, right? She's like, use yeah, yeah, yeah. don't use me. Don't use me as an example. Listen, if I'm on a show and let's say Rudy said, Cam, what do you know about Shannon cheating? And even if I knew the whole Who's bill Shannon? and receipt, I would have been like, I don't know sh about nothing. I know nothing. I know like 10 Shannons, so I don't know what and you're talking And if Cam would have been like, Cam, you was there, I'd be like, the hell I was? I don't know nothing. Cam, here's a picture. You was right there next to him. It wasn't me. <laughs> turning to, uh... Turn into Shaggy <laughs> real quick. Like, I don't understand for the life of me why Becca decided to completely unload all of the tea about Emily. Go ahead. Because Becca don't care about Emily. Mm. 
Becca only cares about her own agenda. Mm, say that. Becca don't have nobody to love her, so Becca don't want nobody in love. Mm. Mm. That's the type of chick Becca is. She been that that way the whole time. That's some shady. And you know what? I'm going to say, the bitch probably ain't even that sick. <laughs> she probably <laughs> using her, her sicknesses to get attention and manipulate people. I'm saying that. I don't care. Hate me. Write me in the comments. Do whatever you want. Ain't she gonna... ain't that sick. <laughs> She's fine. Give her ass a Tylenol and send her on away. Ain't nothing wrong with that girl. They just performing surgeries on her because she got a good insurance. I don't care. <laughs> Miss I Miss, said it. Miss Smith said she would have been like, who said that? Like, Portia. Yeah. That's what I would have been like on the after party. Who said that? Like, I know. She, I would have been like, yo, she cheated? Like, <laughs> I would have had brand new. At cars? She did. I know she ain't cheated spades. What? I, she did what? Like, damn, that's how she get down? Like, I would have acted so brand new. Like, I would have never betrayed any of my, if, if it's a, a real friend of yours. You wouldn't just get on TV and start telling the girl business like this if you Down to, to the T. Home. He was from Australia? Right. You know what game where the man from? Now we looking for this Australian man? <laughs> that dude, that dude back in Sydney like, crikey. <laughs> 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 he, he got a girl back home. You don't want no smoke. <laughs> He's like, it wasn't me. It's like, <laughs> I just, I don't get that. Like, I would never, never. I, I mean, I couldn't. It's fathomless for me that you would just come on air and just tell that girl's business and you're supposed to be her friend. Like, I could see Cameron just telling the whole you thing. You calling these people friends is ridiculous. It's the same way they call each other husband and wife. Only entitled. Y'all be like, I love this person. I love it. You don't even like them. All that too. That's true. These are not friends. Friends, they didn't grow up together, ain't got no kind of history together until, yo, you saw how Becky went around to Emily's house to pick up. Did you call her Becky? What's Becky? Becca. Becky, <laughs> Becca, same thing. <laughs> okay, Rachel said, even I wasn't cool with Emily. Um, even if I wasn't cool with Emily, I wouldn't have told. Like, who does that? So who really is spilling yeah. the tea here? Is it Cameron or is it damn near Becca? Tell because. It's Becca, Becky, Becca, whatever. Becca. Bad, bad, Becca. <laughs> Shannon said, friends. How, How many, many of, of us, us have them? them? Friends. friends. <laughs> the ones you can depend on. Friends. friends. <laughs> Shannon, don't look like none of them have any of them. But yeah, bad, bad, Becca dropping dimes on everybody. Okay. Let's get back into it. Emily at <laughs> home back, with the back, scar back. on the forehead, on the side of her head, like, yo! <laughs> tell him. Yeah. Help me. Like, like uh. <laughs> why do you do it? Okay, so Cameron says he didn't want none of this information to come out. After you done said everything. Get out of here, Cameron. <laughs> he said, I didn't really want any of this information to come out to go public because I knew it would go bad for Emily. But he said Claire also wrote him in text messages saying that Cheaters will get what they will deserve, right? Because they're not friends. She don't care Cameron about says, Does that these... sound like a friend to you? I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Patricia said, Pat, bad back, Becca dropping dime. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I just, I would, thank you, Sharon, said, I'm deaf and blind. That would have been me. I would have turned to Helen Keller. Real quick in there. Yeah, we all know y'all. <laughs> I mean, we know how women roll. This is what happens. This why. This why y'all not allowed to go, Shannon. This why we're not going on girls trips. <laughs> you just told on yourself. <laughs> oh, you can believe me. We just going to watch New Edition. The hell. <laughs> now nah, I know not to believe well, your Cameron, lying ass. Cameron's at the bar and she made yeah, up with an Australian I don't know. dude. Yeah, yeah. Australian? I would have made up with an Australian. That dude. Hemsley, uh, Thor. What's his name? Ain't he from Australia? I don't know where Thor is from. He can get it. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. 
okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Shannon, they gonna stay right there in Vegas. Oh. They gonna stay right here in Texas. <laughs> All right, my next question, couch potatoes. Are y'all surprised that Emily cheated on Brennan? Are you surprised? Did y'all see the bachelorette party? <laughs> She was putting Catch that. Potato, she was chat. putting that thing on display for everybody to see. Somebody was gonna take it. It was on. A Brennan planet. wasn't. It's but ain't it funny how Brennan the whole time said he didn't like her. He didn't like her because of the way she was, and then she go out and do and be the way she is. And then y'all tried to kill me one episode when I said, you know, Brennan be on to something, and y'all like, you go give him credit, and I was like, I'm telling Who's you. saying y'all when you mean me? When you see their smoke. <laughs> Anytime you see smoke, there's always fire behind it. <laughs> he knew what we didn't see. I always believed it, Brennan. That's how it always go, you know, talk trash the whole time. I was always on his side the whole I was, time. <laughs> y'all was saying stuff. I just wanted more information, so I was agreeing with what y'all saying <laughs> just to get more information. But the whole time, I really believed I believe in Brennan. Brennan. The whole time. I knew he was a good Yo, man. Yo, he stonewalled her, so that gives you permission to go... Jump down some Australian's throat. Oh, Nikki said that's what he meant by saying he was trying to protect her. <laughs> yeah, so he, he kept saying that. He didn't want to be like her. America. This girl is a thought. <laughs> she is a no driving a four wheeler thought. <laughs> <laughs> Terry said she had me fooled. Not me. I knew she was no good when she went off on Keisha. Honestly, I've been yeah, saying that you for did a hot say minute. That. I'm like, there's something about her, and if I put my finger on it, it will stink. You know? <laughs> and the Australian's finger probably stunk too. That's how they get down. You know, any girl make out with you. And first of all, who kisses in the club? Do y'all not have rules no more? You was kissing in the club back nah, in the day. You don't kiss in the club. Patrick, I don't believe you. Bro, you was out there doing the I'm most with you, your body. You don't not in the club. <laughs> not in the club. Why would you kiss in the club if you're going to come back to the club and not be with the girl you was kissing last week? He was kissing in the you club. You don't kiss in the club, bro. How many of y'all can see Patrick kissing in the club when he was young? Don't he look like he was doing the most? <laughs> don't try to make a face. Y'all try to find somebody who said I kissed him in the club. <laughs> in a, uh, uh, behind a dumpster outside the club, maybe. <laughs> in a car in the parking lot, probably. What? Never in the club. You wasn't kissing when the lights was off? When the lights was out. In the club. Not in Florida. <laughs> it was spring, wing, 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 wing. Tell me, y'all. Nikki said Pat looks like a germaphobe. He only a germaphobe now because he got with the number one germaphobe. And I had to put him on to what's really going out here in the streets, <laughs> on these countertops, at people's house when they cooking food. You know, you don't want none of this. <laughs> you don't remember. Go hey. <laughs> Stop. If you remember me, it wasn't in the club. <laughs> Rachel says, I'm old. Back in the 80s, no kissing in the club. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. What, what does it say? You don't, uh, you don't shit where you eat? Yes, where you live. You don't boo-boo where you eat? Yeah, or yeah, where yeah. you live? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Kayla said, Brendan should have just went ahead and told his truth. By not doing that, he made himself look bad. It did give him a bad look, but he was trying. He was screaming <laughs> between the lines for us, and we wasn't picking up what he was putting down. Thank oh you. my gosh. <laughs> Nick, Nikki said, Pat, did you clean your chicken with vinegar or lemon before you met Cam? Did he have chicken to, cook, to <laughs> clean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was living a real bachelor's I, life. I'm it didn't sorry. go in the microwave or come in a package. I probably didn't eat it. <laughs> All right. We got another question. Couch potatoes. Y'all ready? Let's go. Do y'all think. Uh, this was the behavior Brennan was speaking about from Emily the whole time on the show, which I guess we just already did it, but I'll ask it again in the Bro, chat. did y'all not see her do a handstand with her cookies look, out? Look, Ma, no hands. I said, look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> Boy, like, hold on. <laughs> I said, look, Ma, no hands. Look, Ma. <laughs> <I'm dead>. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all want me to believe this? And y'all want me to believe she no. wasn't out there cheating? No. That person no. doesn't make out with an no. Australian. Come on now. No. <laughs> My head wrap is going to fall off. Wait. I can't. I, can somebody come and take my...
take my place. I can't work with him. He's a mess. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I still got it. Everybody in the chat is dying. Yo, I still right got on. it. If I can stay up past 11, I still will be damaging the club. I'm we can't make you. it past 11 no more. I can't make it up past 11. But if I could, I would be damaging the club. And I guess uh, Patricia is right. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Smith, I'm sorry. Mrs. Smith um, said when we saw her sit on the bathroom floor at that restaurant. Yes. We should have been like, that was also red flag. Do you know the amount of germs? In a public restroom. People pee on the floor. Much less to sit on it. You're Thank you, Kwan Aisha. And that two dollars is mine. I work for that. I went upside. That's my two dollars. <laughs> Thank right. you, Kwan Aisha. We'll put it in your trust. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, t Terry says report Pat to HR. Yeah, because he's doing it. He definitely needs a write up for this. Um. Hey, redefine me. Welcome, welcome to the madness. Um, so everybody agrees that this was the, the, the um, this was the behavior that Brennan was talking about the whole time from Emily. I do have another question. I have actually a, a couple more questions, Couch Potatoes. Um, <laughs> Kwana, you should said that's her throwing money at you. Thank you. That's what I told you. You got to keep... Gave you two dollars. <laughs> and don't come at me with no manager stuff later on, Kamar. You're not my manager. Oh. That's my dollar ninety nine. Oh my god! Not Michelle saying tip drill. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'll okay. be in Chippendales later on. Listen, Nikki says, "Yo, my dog requires her small bed to lay in the bathroom." Listen, <laughs> listen. Um, you know, dogs out there walking on all four feet, and then you're supposed to come climb in my bed. And lay down, and then the same booty that you over Kamara here running across Kamara the Kamara is a germ of. I came home with uh, what's it called? Luggage, and just threw it on the bed to unpack. I almost she died. She went crazy. The Get germs. the luggage off my bed. The germs, like I don't believe on furniture, uh, suitcases on bed. You don't sit with your outside clothes. This maybe it's the the Jamaican in me. You know, we don't sit with your outside clothes on the bed. First of all, you coming in the house smelling like outside to start with, right? <laughs> it's true. We don't believe on shoes on the counter. I'm like, wash your hands as soon as you get in the dough, right? I'm just this is just how I can I can't function. Because of the germ, like I don't even want to be making out too tough. The germs in your mouth with the germs in your mouth, M much less meeting stranger man in the in the street, making out with him. <laughs> this is why I know if this don't work out with me and Patrick, I'm not gonna be able to be You're with nobody cat else. Lady. <laughs> yeah, if it don't work out with us, you are cat lady. I am gonna be a total cat lady. I'm gonna have to be that ex and be like, come on, you need to get out there and date again. <laughs> You don't look good. You're wasting away. <laughs> not that don't look good and you're wasting away. <laughs> oh, we don't sit on counters either. Can you imagine? I would have a whole heart attack. Like, I stay with the Clorox. I've done dance routines on counters. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, Michelle, stranger man. Stranger man in the club, you just... Putting your mouth on his mouth. In his mouth. All that too? Like, it's just too much. Yeah, I would be a cat woman. Was this before me. or after the accident? They didn't say. What Look, kind of Australian come all the way to America to make, make out with a chick with a shoehorn on her? <laughs> or a, a horseshoe on the side of her head? I got another question. Couch potatoes, another question. Do you think Claire was a true friend to Emily? No. Hell, was it Claire a true friend no. to anybody? Herself. Drop it in the chat, you guys. Drop it Played in the chat. Yourself. <laughs> oh my God. If if Claire is a friend, then I don't want enemies. And mm? mm? <laughs> um No, she wasn't a good friend. Tisa says nope. Michelle says nope. Uh, Chiquita says, hey, Chiquita. Um, Chiquita Bonita. Claire is the worst. 
Of Pat course not. Patricia says Claire was trying to break all those marriages up. Blazing Saddle says Claire is the villain of the season. Claire, I think oh, Becca go back was. To, go back to your. Point. I think Becca Down was the hit. ringleader, and Claire's her hench. Like she's she's the right hand man. She's the uh, enforcer. Okay, and my view is that Becca's they were both like the Geppetto. Mom. They were yeah. both Geppetto, and everybody else was like the puppets. Was Pinocchio's. Yep. And they, they were in there doing this whole time. Um, I did see something in the blog saying that people were calling Claire's job to get her fired. <laughs> That's wicked. Like, you want to take a like, job from her? Claire don't do nothing up here but answer phones. <laughs> she said she's like, where she got this therapist stuff from? No, she just answers the phones and she and she logs the patients. Yeah, like, she be in the break room talking to everybody all the time. Trying to psychoanalyze yeah. all of us, but we <laughs> see her through her. <laughs> And how did that make you feel? <laughs> Claire, if you don't get your ass back to your desk to answer the phones, get the hell out of here. <laughs> your 15 minute break is over, Claire. I don't know why that's so funny to me. He said it. He in the break room asking, how did that make you feel? <laughs> why is that hilarious to me? <sighs> Rochelle. Says no, it's she squirrel. annoyed the hell out of me trying to act like oh, I missed it, it went so fast. Trying to act <laughs> like something, uh, trying to act like she's been so genuine. Facts, um, Kwan Aisha, thank you for saying that because I wanted to say that too. She said, definitely a misery loves company yes. type of vibe. So, and that rolls it's not squirrel. just for Claire, but that's for Becca. Yeah, I don't know if it rolls for Emily. Emily's so long, she she's she's easily influenced. Yeah. Been in the, the apartment crying for the last week, packing up. And what how much stuff did you bring? That time when she was moving into the apartment? Uh, no, when she was moving out when uh because Becca went and picked her up. Oh, you watched that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch none of that. You better than me. I, I did I watched done. I watched it on accident. You told me the name was climbing something. <laughs> So I, I just hit play. Um, it took me like 20 minutes before I realized. Ain't no Keisha this out here. This is the party. This is the show. Rudy ain't nowhere in here. I was cleaning up. Like, I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't watch none, none of that. So I know nothing there. Um, Let me see if I have another question for you guys. Um, Did the after party she give everything it was dude. supposed to have gave? Was the tea hot to you guys? Do you think it was good? Did you did Cameron reveal everything we knew, or or did he surprise us? No, I, he just like Wizard of the Oz. We got to see behind the door. We all knew what was going on. Okay, but we got to see it. Uh, two things, Mrs. Smith says, Cam, you need to watch that scene. She left the apartment so nasty. But why am I not surprised? I didn't see any of it. Thank Are you, Mrs. Smith. Are y'all reviewing Freak Nick? And then that's my second. I would like thing. to. You want to review Freak Nick? Freak. Freak. Bounce it. Make your knees to touch your elbows. elbows. Freak. <laughs> freak. Wow. Y'all got to remember, I, I grew okay, up. Here you go. The I graduated in 99. So I was in high school and middle school. Like, I remember Freak. I never went to Freak Nick. But I remember I at it, as it was happening. I didn't have enough body yaddy yaddy to go to Freak Nick. Remember, I nah, was No, back only then you pounds. was all tea. <laughs> you was. Go hit me with. <laughs> you go hit me. Hit whoever didn't give you an orthodontist. That's who you needed. Hit. Mom, Dad. Oh. You was grown. Listen, I was not that grown. Mom. Freak Nick. <laughs> <laughs> In that little dress, is it the white one? <laughs> You look like this there. All <laughs> teeth. <laughs> you you blossom. Shut up. Um You grew into beauty. Shut up. <laughs> I did see You're gorgeous now. I did see Nikki that uh Cecil from Married to Medicine. Uh I saw like a still shot. I haven't watched the freak Nick thing. It's on Hulu for those that want to go. Check it out. I believe it was just released this week. 
Um, Shannon, have you ever been to Freaknik? Drop it in the chat. <laughs> you are asking us as bad as telling on it. They're <laughs> like, nah, uh-uh, nah. <sighs> Shannon, you been to Freaknik? Let us know in the chat. How many of y'all, matter of fact, not just Shannon only, but all of y'all, Couch Potatoes, how many of y'all ever been to Freak Nick? Where was Freak Nick held? Atlanta. Oh. ATL, shawty. Shannon said she was up in there in 96. <coughs> <laughs> Shannon, don't get it. This is not Vlad TV. Don't get on here and tell on yourself. <laughs> this is, no, I never been. If we don't got pictures, you never been. Michelle said I drove by. Mm -hmm. I watched. I'm safe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Michelle said I drove by. Betty said too wild for me. Yvonne said no, I was raised right. Rachel said I ain't telling. Rachel was there, y'all. We had, <laughs> y'all, they had Freak Nick. Here in Texas, we had After Capital. Y'all know what After Capital is? What is that? It's like. It's like a Freak Nick? Yeah, it's, it's. Where was it held? It, Houston. In Houston? Or. Like outside of these, yeah. Um, Nikki says, thank goodness social media wasn't popping until I got out of school. Uh, Tisa says, she went in 97. You just missed Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all would have found each other. <sighs> uh, Quadisha says, I'm 45 and never been. I am 40. And y'all know I wasn't there. Y'all, y'all, if anybody knows me, knows I was home sleep. Shut up. Me and my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know I wasn't. I didn't get these teeth right until 26, 27. Yeah, they wasn't crooked. They was just big. <laughs> I wish I think she was in here with messed up crooked teeth. They was just big. I had to grow into my head, into my teeth. <laughs> 19 years old. I had to make weight, you know? Uh-uh. <coughs> Kayla said she wanted to go, but her dad would have killed her. Class of 87. Yeah. Shannon said she graduated in 97 and then moved to oh Atlanta. So you Thank know. you so much. Again, Thank that was for the dance. Terry. That was for the dance, Terry. Look, Ma, no hands. Give it to them one more <laughs> <Nah>. time. <laughs> I'll pull something. <laughs> and I'm not going to I'll be in you. bed all weekend. Thank you, Terry, for the $20. Um, I got to ask, and this is going back to the, the Married at First Sight, because Kwanaisha also asked it, and I do have it on here that, to ask you couch potatoes. Um, decision day is approaching for Michael and Chloe. Again, we did not watch this week's episode or last I did. week's episode. He watched, I did. He watched Michael's is a, Michael is a no. You uh, Before I... Let me ask the question. All right, go ahead. Couch Potatoes, drop your prediction in the chat. Will Michael and Chloe stay married or get a divorce? Nope. I just want to know real quick. And then we can come back to all the freak Nick talk y'all want. <laughs> Let's just finish up. Let's do things like Shannon says, decent and in order. Nope. As soon you didn't watch it, but as soon as they went to that farm and start messing with them goats, and she was talking about hundreds of animals and all old, crippled, <laughs> half dead animals, Mike was like, "Oh hell no!" Pet cemetery. Yeah, and then she was like, and then he was like, she was like, "I want to have foster kids too." He was like, "Well, how many foster kids?" She said five at a time. Mike was like, Shh. "It's a no for me." And she only wants older kids. The, that are she trying to have people do work <laughs> she, with that you farm wash clothes <laughs> I you didn't think about it do the dishes yeah. she, cause she wanted like Mom. 500 goats or some shit you're on bathrooms this and she want five <laughs> five a damn near adult uh, foster kids she's just looking for free work she turned into Miss Hannigan from Annie you remember that or she <laughs> gonna suck their young their youth away that's what her skin looked like. Her skin looked waxy. It looked like she sucked the youth out of other people. And was really 437 years old. <laughs> Kitty said she did like on purpose to run him off. She did on purpose to run him off. 
No, um, she did. She looked like birds that want. Shannon five on says the she is the like flowers in the attic, Mama. You never seen that movie, huh? No. It's that we need to review that. That alone will have your mind blown. But it's a long movie. It's about a a mother whose husband died and she hey, went back to <laughs> she went back to live with her parents in a castle. They had like this mansion, but she put her kids up in the attic. And locked them in there so they couldn't come out. And she was out there living her life like grand, you know, black tie event, you know, kind of stuff. But she was feeding them these little cookies with powdered sugar on it. But the powdered sugar was really, I think it was arsenic. What is that white stuff? Is that arsenic? Cocaine. It's a hell of a drug. <laughs> so they started to look dead. They looked like the walking dead up there. When Cocaine. <laughs> they strung out. You got any more of them cookies, baby? One of them was younger than PJ, so younger than seven. It was probably one that was seven. It was like four of them, and the brother and the sister, I think, started falling in love with each other. You know, because they didn't... <laughs> you got to see this movie. Incest, Christmas. child abuse, it's got it all. It's great. Child, child neglect. Yeah, you want to watch this. Oh, okay, Devon, sorry. She said, no, she had those kids with her brother. And it was her mother that put the kids in the attic. My bad. I got the whole Yo, thing. how are you a review person? You don't I don't even know. I said, we should. Right. We should But review. you watch this no, movie. Years ago, I was a child. I shouldn't have been watching this. This is too much. <laughs> That's why you weird like you are. <laughs> ah, eat the cookie, Christopher. Yes. Can you imagine feeding your kids these little pieces of cookies with... um? Arsenic? Is it arsenic, y'all? Am I saying that correctly? That what was that white powder? Is arsenic usually white? <coughs> Let me refer back to my killing days. <laughs> back when I used to poison people. Uh, yes, it's arsenic is white. Oh. Do you think they believe I did? Yeah, I was an assassin. Oh. <laughs> the name of the movie redefine me is called um, Flowers in the Attic. Okay, Mrs. Smith said yes, it was arsenic. No, your average logical thinker said I thought it was just powder. She, you know, that's how she was killing them off. You didn't see they look half dead? You didn't know it was the mom that put them in the attic. You can't get on the... No, I didn't know the part that it was the children for her brother. For the so, mom's brother. So it was like some Game of Thrones type stuff? Cersei and Lannister, or Cersei and Jamie Lannister. <laughs> Cersei and Jamie. Um, Blazing Saddle says the book was better than the movie. You might want to listen to the book. I just like I don't listen to this. This is you like audiobooks? Yeah, but I don't like incest and <laughs> child abuse. I like CIA <laughs> missions. Oh yes, and then the little boy died, and then his little pet rat died too because he was feeding him the cookies. The rat poisoning. <laughs> yeah. It was great. It was. <laughs> I'm not reading <laughs> nothing. I'll listen to an audio book, but I don't read books. Oh yeah. See, everybody see it. See, so so theme said that movie. Every time I see it, my face just gets scrunched up. It's terrible. It's terrible, but it's like a car accident. You can't help. You can't look away. You gotta keep watching this. Like this is really happening. And then in the but end, I can't watch ID Network. In the end, they broke out of the room and the mom was getting married down at the, you know, on the ground floor. And then they all come in looking like the walking dead, walking down the aisle. She was already at the altar and she was like, you're trying to hide us, mother. And it got like dark circles. They look pale. It was terrible. She's like, yeah, you're your uncle father's kids. <laughs> Not uncle father. <laughs> trying to keep y'all out of sight, out of mind. <sighs> Yes, that's what it is, Mrs. Smith. You don't recognize your children, mother. It was crazy. <laughs> it's, I mean, it was right up there with Mommy Dearest. You ever seen that one? No. <sighs> Patrick. I don't know. You need to watch these movies. You need, they're, these are classics. I don't know how we got here, but it was, it's amazing. <laughs> you guys, we have nine minutes remaining in our live. We want to give the floor to you before we... But the boy became a away. doctor and marries a sister? Yeah, that I think that's in the sequel. <laughs> Patrick's done. I want to give y'all the floor. Spill some tea. Let's talk about some little bit of tea. We got nine minutes left in our live with you guys. 
No yes. wire hangers. No wire hangers, Christina. That was the mother. Patrick watch watches comedies. I don't watch. She went through the Ajax everywhere. <laughs> in the bathroom. This is the mother, Mommy yeah. Dearest. This yeah. is crazy. But she was like a famous actress, I believe, in this movie, Joan Crawford. This movie, this, how do you not know these classics? Because I had a life. <laughs> I was in the club tooting that thing up. Kissing in no. the club? No, I wasn't kissing in the club. <laughs> she was totally insane. Totally. Anything you guys want to talk about real quick? We got eight minutes remaining in our live. Um... Did we touch on everything that happened in the after party? I believe so. I try to give a good, a high-level overview of everything that was said. Let me know. I agree with you, Jay, that uh, Mommy Dearest was wild. She was a wild individual. I'm going to watch these movies. Karen Huger had a DUI? I didn't know that, and she is in Real Housewives of Potomac. You know, I, I know you don't watch any of that, so you don't know who Karen is. Look at your face. Prayers for Kate. Yes. Did you see that, Patrick, today? No. Kate Middleton. Who's that? How do you know not, not know who Kate Middleton? She is... Is she considered the princess, I think? In... Oh, in England? Yeah. Because I'm not English. <laughs> I'm American. <laughs> she announced today... Really What's Joe Biden's wife's name? Jill? No. Or is that Clinton? Oh no, is it Jill? Clinton. No, 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 no. I'm thinking it's Jill Clinton. Is that her but name? But you know Kate Middleton. Yes, I know her. But she announced today, anyways. We knew, you know, we kicked the British ass. We announced it's William's wife. We she announced we kicked today. Kicked William's ass. <laughs> Can I get it out? Eighteen twelve. Can I get it out that she has cancer? Oh, I'm shit. Right, and you're oh, talking sorry. the entire most. Poor lady. I don't even know how old she is, but she's got to be around our age. Um, but she's ill, and she underwent, she said, serious abdominal surgery in January. And it was successful, but then they found that cancer is still present. So we got to send prayers up for Kate. I hate to hear that anybody is sick, or especially sick with cancer. Like, that's scary. Yeah, that's horrible. That's so scary. She's only 42. See? She's young. Um, we did not talk about Love is Blind because, A, we didn't really watch it. I didn't watch it. <laughs> there wasn't nobody else to watch. All watch the couples well just broke up. On it. Who was left? I mean, it was, only one, it was only one couple that got married, which is uh, the ones that were trying to figure out birth control. Yeah. I forget their names now, too. Oh, and Shannon said, and King Charles has cancer, too. Damn. Yeah, this is serious. This is sad. Ugh. Um. I, I didn't know that, so. You take it all back. Well, I mean, I was spitting <laughs> facts, but I'm not talking shit. I didn't know that. I was trying to get it out. You won't let me. I know, but I thought you was, I thought it was going to be something about Megan and how they was treated. No. Or did we already forget about that? <laughs> did we move on from that? We moved on from that <laughs> after that old lady died? I don't think so. Um, Mrs. Smith says, y'all got to watch Trevor on the reunion. So I saw it. I did watch it. I want to be fair say I did watch Love is Blind, but I didn't watch it well enough to come back with, like, notes. You get what I'm saying? I just let it play. Who's Trevor? Trevor is the big brawling dude. Oh. The one that we thought had yeah. eczema here. Or psoriasis. No, he did have eczema or psoriasis. <laughs> y'all gave me hell for making fun of him. I thought it was a sunburn. <laughs> he, well, Don't they usually get this on the <laughs> No, so no, boy, you got them. During the income. during the reunion, they confront him. They being the host, I forget their names. Mm -hmm. too, but they confront him that he was having or had a long term relationship during his time on Love Is Blind, and they proceeded to read his messages right. to that he was texting his girlfriend, mm. and then they were like asking him, like, "What do you have to say?" And he sat there like this. Look at me. <laughs> what do you ask? We in love? I was trying I, to get... I, I was wrong for doing... And then he asked, can I go? Because I feel, I feel bad. Like, they, he asked to leave. 
<laughs> they won't let him leave. If you really feel bad, why your psoriasis ain't flaring up? <laughs> you don't feel bad. <sighs> Sharon, thank you so much. She said, Cam, you are beautiful. Pat, you keep me laughing too. Love you too. Love you. Um, yeah, I... Um, oh, I think, you know, Martha's Vineyard, I think that's going to be good. Season two, that's coming out. We might want to review that one. We said we we're going to review the season one. Now that I think about it, but so much is going on. Of what? It's uh, Martha's Vineyard. He's the one that had, remember last season, well, season one, he pooped in the toilet and left it because he marked the room so the guy couldn't use it. Do you remember that scene? Okay, no. Then I this scene. You remember this scene. Do you remember... The girl took all her clothes off in the hot tub with the girl's boyfriend in there. I remember, yeah. You remember that yeah. scene. I know you know that much. That That's Martha's Vineyard. Season two is coming out, I think, next week or something. Um, What else do we have? Nick and Vanessa, thank you. I couldn't remember the host name. I feel like once I move on from a season, I kind of just, like a computer, I just hit trash and then I hit permanently delete out of my mind. Like all the data from a show yeah. in my head. That's because I have to. It's like the commercial says, you got to forget something to remember something else. Have you seen that commercial? No, I just forget them. <laughs> okay. Um, what else is going on? What else is going on? Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you, Shannon, for dropping that in the chat as well. Patrick, do you have anything? We got two minutes left. Speak I got please. a new truck. This is what you want to talk about? All right. Yes, <laughs> Um. AD had a see-through dress? You didn't want Because you didn't want it. She needed one of them Kanye masks on her face, though. <laughs> That's how she looked beautiful. And she had a dress, and it did this. <laughs> I'm done. You be out there showing like, oh, girl. I'm going to kill them now they can't see my face. I'm done. I'm done. Um. Here's my thing. Waterfalls wants to know what's up next for Couples Couch. I do have a mango letter. I just haven't put it together so we can read it. Ram 1500 Night Edition 2024 All Black Everything. Kitty. She asked what kind okay. of truck. I, I see you get real excited about 22 this. 22 inch rims. Um, Sunroof. Okay. 12 inch screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you, Shannon, for dropping that in the chat. Couch Potatoes, if you have any stories, they don't have to be your own story, tell the story and put it in the most anonymous way you see fit, and we will read it here on our show and give you our insight or thoughts about your mango letter. Send it up to us. Um, and, and we'll get to it. I do have one already in queue. So Mango Letter may be coming to you guys within a week or the week after at the latest. Oh, actually, it would have to be the week after because next week is Easter Sunday weekend. Yep. So we will not be here. Thank you for bringing that up, of course. Hot Topics will also return since these shows are now going kind of on of a pause for a little bit. We can do a little bit of Hot Topics, too. Those were always so fun. Um... I think that I think that's it though, right? Yep. Hot topics, mango letters are coming to you. We will not be here next week. I want everybody to enjoy your Easter weekend. We plan to do the same thing. Oh, over spring break. Uh, what was the name of that thing? Which one? The Nazarene. Yeah. Yes. Yo, we went to this. What is it? An exhibit? It's an experience. Yeah, an experience. Mm -hmm. Na the Nazarene. Yeah. What she said. <laughs> Yo, they had like screens, but they weren't screen. It looked like curtains. Yeah. Like big were... white curtains. You walk into a room. I posted it. Oh, yeah. That thing was so dope, y'all. And the kids, like the story of Jesus and oh, my the gosh. Bible story. The yeah. kids loved it. It was awesome. It was really awesome. Yeah. Y'all are insane. in the DFW area. It is very much money well spent, and we loved it. Yeah, it was a great experience. I did post a short about it on our channel. It was a really cool, immersive experience. Interactive experience. Yeah, immersive as well. I think immersive probably works better, so you're right. 
<laughs> See how I gave you your props? One? Real quick before we go, Waterfalls wants to know how's the buddy doing? If the buddy's fine, you want to get it real quick? Two seconds, don't leave. We'll get it real quick. I know a lot of you guys ask how she's doing. She is doing so good, and she's growing, and she's getting big. Um, One Love is still in theaters. I see you saying that, Mrs. Smith. Also, I know Go Ghostbusters came out, part two, or I think whatever. I know PJ's been ringing my ear off about going to see that. So that's another movie that's in theaters to answer that question. Patrick ran to get the bunny. Um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, Mrs. Smith says, really? Oh, Lord, I got to make the kids baskets next week. So do we. I totally forgot. Oh, there's the bunny. There she is. For all those who asked. <laughs> PJ wants to say hi. PJ, you look like a disaster. <laughs> hi. <laughs> there she is. Don't let her jump off this. That's what she does for a living. I <laughs> That is the same bunny. She's just growing. Growing and glowing. Good. I'm going to put it up. Bye, PJ. I have to go? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> What's the purpose? I don't want to go. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Smith says she's still alive. I believe bunnies live for a very long time. I'll wait for Patrick so we can close the show. But uh, we've had her going on a year. Peyton got her last year. Right, PJ? No. Yeah. October, she'll be two. Ain't no two. We just got her last Christmas. Christmas before last. Yeah. Oh, was it? No. Dang, where's the time going? You I'll can tell who takes care of her. <laughs> thank you, Couch Potatoes, for all that you do. We thank you so much for supporting us and coming here every week and watching with us. We thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you the week after next for another episode of Whatever We See Fit. Right, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you next week, and thank you, Shannon, for all that you do. We love thank you. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> Are you going to hit the button? No? Are you going to hit the button? Go hit the button. Do you know how to do it? The X in the top. Top left. There you go. There you go. And then hit. Nope. Nope, one more time. <laughs> Hit the one on the right. <laughs>